Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 6 of the final part of this SS or RMS Ponty Pred tutorial. I'll get that right one day. Um, so yeah, so part 6 today is for the rudder, propellers, lifeboats and any other details I can think of along the way. There ain't much to do. Um, so we're going to focus on the rudder and propellers first. So we're going to fly all the way down to the back of the ship. <laughs> Yeah, Ponty Pred. I will get that right. And it's RMS. Yes, right. Anyway, so I fly down to the back of the ship, and we're going to need some night vision, I think, because it's dark as hell under here. It's not really overly dark, but dark nonetheless. So we're going to get our night vision. I really should do this first. Potion of night vision. Eight minutes to do. And we also need a red terracotta to match the rest of the hull. So that. I also need. Don't need cobblestone. Well, what, what, what walls do I normally use? There's usually red, a red cobblestone or a red, a red, red nether brick wall, and also a black, good black stone wall. That's sort of what you need for this area. So, what we're gonna do? Get rid of that. Get it. Have a slurp of our drink, and then we're gonna need to build uh, eight hinges up. So I'm gonna start at the bottom at the keel. Get rid of the sign, and we're gonna build one. Leave a gap. Two. Leave a gap. Three. Leave a gap. 4, leave a gap, 5, leave a gap, 6, and then for number 7, and then number 8, so there's 8 hinges like that, and that is how our rudder support should look, so you've got 8 hinges, five, uh, 7 or 6 of which are in the red, 2 are on the black, so now we go down to the bottom of the hinge, or the bottom hinge, and we're going to build the rudder, which is going to be 3 at the bottom, 1, 2, 3, and then curving upwards we want 2, and then 2, and then up two and then we want up five so one two three four five and then curving forward from there you want to go up three one two three and then two one two and then going forward three one two three like that and then you just go straight down to, uh, to connect to the bottom and all the hinges and then that's just all red like so And that's the bottom part of the rudder. The, re the rest of the rudder is on top. So you just go from the hinge and the front of the black. You just go uh, uh, three in black, and then two in black, and then one like that. And that is the rudder done like so. Marvellous, isn't it? A marvellous piece of engineering, that. <laughs> so now we're going to go down to the keel now, at the back of the keel, and we're going to add the propellers. So it's the same on both sides, so it's fairly simple. So we're going to go to the sixth sixth block up from the keel, so keel is number one, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you go forward five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna build out five. One, two, three, four, five. And the centre block of the propeller is number six. So I'm using quartz for the propeller. So the sixth block out, so five black in the sixth block is the centre of the propeller. So you can remove the rest of that. And the propeller itself is going to be a Nazi swastika. So you're going to build two up and one out, two out and one down, two down and one in, two in and one up. So you have that. And then you're just going to add uh, court stairs to corner off the nasty bits. Um, I don't think that looks right on my one, to be honest. I think the one on the propeller tail looks better. Let me just check because I think I have poo pooed this a bit. And no, it's exactly how it is, so yeah, so I have done it right. It just looked a bit small, that's all, but anyway. <sighs> right, so we'll just carry on the cack that we were doing. Add propeller to thingy, what's it? Or stairs to propeller thingy, and everything should be hickory dickory dock. And then the central cone, and then for the rest of the rudder, we just go behind, add another white block behind the center. And then in red, just build a line going straight to the hull, and blending into the hull like so. And there you go. So that's your prop shaft. And then from the front of the prop shaft, or the end of the prop shaft, you're going to build up two in red, two and two, and then one in to connect up like that. So that's your prop shaft flange. And then each block like so, you just build forward again to blend in, like we did with oh, like we did with the rest of the uh, like we did with the uh, prop shaft. So every block or every exposed block you just build the same, so the two here like so, and there we go, that is our rudder done, so the propeller uh, is propeller done and also the rudder's done, so we do the same on the other side, why not so it's six up from the keels, so keel is number one 
two, three, four, five, six. Forward five, one, two, three, four, five. And then out five, one, two, three, four, five. And block number six is the center of our prop. So there we go. So that's what we want. And the propeller is going to be, so it's going to be in two, up one. So we'll do the same design again. So in two, up one, up two, out one, out two, down one, down two, in one. And then the nut, cover up all the Nazi stuff with some quartz stairs for the nice decoration. And that bit, and that bit, and then yeah, that bit, and there, and there, Ooh, out there, and there, and there. And there we go. So there's our prop done, and then the cone in the middle, bonk, and then a block behind, bonk, and then the red line all the way forward to connect to the hull, like so. And then we want to go to the end of the prop shaft, go up two, 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 and in one. And then just f uh, blend the rest of that flange in with the, uh, the rest of the hull. I know some people don't like the way I do it, but I'm the one who's here and I'm the one who's doing it. So there we go. So there's our two props done and our rudder done. And the ship is now serviceable. She can now sail away. <laughs> As a, if only, hey, if only Minecraft was that good. But anyway, that's the rudder and propellers done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut while I uh, work out what to do next, which will be lifeboats. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I shall return in just a moment. <sighs> okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is work on the lifeboats that sit on the boat deck, which go behind the platform that, uh, well, you get the idea. Anyway, beside the funnels, on the boat deck down here, we're going to go to the pillar just here, which supports the top thing there. So we're going to go to the pillar here, and we're going to go six back from there. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to add three black blocks. One, two, three, and like that. And then we're going to go twelve back from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and do the same again. So three black blocks there, and that's where your boat will sit. So we're going to put the keel in. The keel is what's the keel? Fifteen. So put one, two, four, uh, one four like that. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's where your keel and your first boat will go. For the next boat, of which there are four, there are four on this boat deck. Uh, we're going to go and do the same eight back. So eight back from that first set of black, or that last set of black. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do the same again. Bonk, bonk. And then twelve back from there. Do the same again. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And black, black, black. And then the keel again. We'll just put the keel in place. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then eight back again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, like that. And then twelve back again. Do the same again. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Black, black, black. And then the keel again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then twelve back again. No, eight back. Sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, black. And then twelve back again. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there, and then black, 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 and then the final keel, so 1, 2, 3, yeah, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like that. Um, if you feel adventurous, you might be able to get one more boat, but I'm just going to stick with the four, so that's where your four boats will, will go, so as per usual, I'm just going to work on the one, because I'm a lazy son of a person, as you all know, so... <laughs> Boats are all raised up anyway, so the first boat we just do the usual design, so we go two forward and one up. And the other end we go two back, one up, and then from that top block we go out two, two, and the other side we go one, and then two. Same on the other end, go out two, and two, the other side one, and then two, and then join the two halves together. Like so, one side, and then the other side, like so. And then on the underneath, we do from this second block here, just hanging down, do the side panel of a le boat. Like so, and then do the same on the other side. This is the same 14 year old design I've been using since the very early days, so if you want to do your own boat, then go for it. 
but that's the boat done and then add the inside because these things are going to be covered up anyway there we go and then we want carpet for the colored co uh, colored canvas on the top the prototype I used red so for this one I'm going to use blue or if you want to you can match the funnels actually we'll, we'll do that we'll match the funnels because the funnels are orange I'll just stick some orange carpet on the top because the ship is fictional after all um, like I said, when I did the intro for the ship for part one and part two, uh, the ship originally had grey funnels, but the uh, the intro, the AI decided to mid mid video to change them to orange. So <laughs> I just thought I'd stick with that. Orange like orange funnels ain't too bad, but that's orange actually a bit too garish. But we'll stick with it. There's boat number one done. So what we're going to do now is go. If you look at, look at the boat side on. So this is the front of the boat here. So you can look at it side on and go down to the deck below. Um, actually, I need to look at the prototype because I can't see how I did this. Uh, is it parallel with it or is it one out? It's one out. Okay. So we we'll do it this way. We we'll do it this way. We we'll do it this way. So once again, looking at the side of the lifeboat side on, you've got the front of the lifeboat here. Go down to deck level to the side of the ship to there and put a block on the side like that. So it's actually that's not right. So. <laughs> Go, keep it parallel but don't put a block there go one forward of that and put the block there so you have a gap well not a gap but the the block is one forward of the front of the lifeboat you can't really explain it but you can see like that so there's the block and there's the front of the lifeboat so it's just so the lifeboat isn't behind the davit it's um yeah anyway so we'll build this up how high do we want it we want to build it up six now build it down six sorry so build down one two three four five six and then a stair block underneath like that for its support and then on top you build up uh, four. One, two, three, four. and then using stairs we stair one way stair the other way and then stair that way and then two blocks bonk bonk like that and there you go there's your lifeboat gantry I think it's a bit short actually I think we might increase that because I think the prototype is actually higher as well yeah it is much higher what was I doing doing four I do six on it four a bit too. yeah so we go one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do seven high because I don't know how I got that. Anyway, now we'll do the stairs. So stair, stair, and stair, and then the two blocks. So apologies for my screw up there, but there we go. There's our lifeboat. Davit's done like that. We do the same for the back of the lifeboat. So parallel with the, with the back of the lifeboat, down to deck levels as you can see, and then one back, dunk there. So it's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then down six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the two, uh, the stair block there. And then the stairs going stairs, stairs, and stairs, and then two blocks, donk, donk, like that. And that is how lifeboat number one should be. Uh, so the rest of them, you just do exactly the same as that. It's exactly the same bullshit that I do in my other lifeboat designs. Well, for ships of this era, anyway, I have done other designs, but. These are the most basic lifeboats that I do. You can you can change them if you want to. And just go for it. But that is the design I've gone for for this uh, tutorial. So the same thing. You just carry on the same thing for the other three lifeboats. So there's four on this side. There'll be four on the other side. So do those, and then we can move to the to the uh, deck house down here, of which there'll be a lifeboat as well. So we will go to the back of the deck house, and then we go. Um, so from the end corner, we go one, two, three, four, five in. Or five forward and then in one go one, two, three and black. And then it was twelve on it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do the same design. And then we add the keel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And that's where your lifeboat will go there. For the Davit. It's the same again. We just had we'll add the front of the boat first, the front and the back, so that's the back done, and then the front there. And then we can add the davit. The davit will go same again, same position. So parallel with the front, and then one forward of that. Build your davit there. So two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up. Plus the stairs, stairs and stairs. Oh, sod it. Stairs and stairs. And then up block, block like that. And then the six down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the stair block covering a window. Never mind, you can call that one a shitter. And then the same for the uh, back of the lifeboat. So parallel with the back, 
go out one or back one and then do the same again so one plus one two three four five six down plus the stairs and then the dab it up one two three four five six seven stair stair and stair and then one two like that for your dab it there so that's where the second set of lifeboats will go so six uh, eight on the on the boat deck and then there's two on the deck house there if you if you're feeling fancy and you can actually add more lifeboats you can because there's a there's a bit of space uh although you might need to remove that skylight it's up to you you can put another lifeboat set on the uh on the bridge deck there so that'd be an interesting one but uh yeah it's i don't think you can add any more anywhere else it's a bit of a conservative design but it is a pre sort of 1912 design so lifeboats are not exactly a, a top priority are they <laughs> so there we are so that's that's how the lifeboats will go so like i say you do the rest of those in i'll, I'll do a jump cut as well while i sort those out and then we can then move on to the finishing touches so i shall return in just a moment okay back again so there's all the lifeboats in place and she should look something like that not brilliant not perfect but it will do we've got eight lifeboats on the boat deck which looks fan dabby doozy Although I've just realised I've missed out a Davit support. Wonderful. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and a thing. That's bound to be the same on the other side now, but I'm going to check that. Fuck's sake, innit? Apologies for swearing, I'm just a bit <laughs> frustrated with that one. Yes, I missed it on this side as well. They just love copy paste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a thing there. There we go. Right, so now, hello everyone, back again. There's the. Uh, Lifeboats all in place, and it should look like something like that. <laughs> anyway, that's that's that job done. <sighs> and also the lifeboats on the stern here as well. So that's those two done there. So we've got ten lifeboats in total. Last job for to do for this uh, teeny little ship is to add a handrail around the boat, uh, around the boat deck, and also around uh, the stern deck here. Not all the way around the boat deck, but we'll get to that in a minute. So from the st stern deck um, from the lifeboat davits we're going to put a block just to the side of it and then we'll add the handrails around to the other davit so we get our iron on the bars that one and we'll go around all the way around the back uh, around the front rather so this is the front part of the deck like so and a block just there there we go that's one end done and then the other end We'll put a block on the corner, and then we'll do the handrails all the way across, like so. Like that, and there we go. So that's that boat, uh, lifeboat station done there. And then to the other end, to the boat deck, or at the back of the boat deck. So from the last lifeboat davit, we'll put a block just there, and then we'll do the handrails around to the back, and end up to the other side. The usual giffity guff, like so often happens. I was just thinking that I've left out a set of stairs, but I haven't. They're there, aren't they? <laughs> because I usually have stairs hanging off the deck, but these ones are in the deck. <sighs> Seems like a long time ago that I built those. And also, congrats to Pipkin as well. As day of recording of this one, she's just released the final part of her Queen Mary interior tutorial. <laughs> she's finally got through the whole thing, and I congrats, congratulate her on that one. Uh, so yeah, check out uh, Pipkin's Queen Mary interior tutorial. It's a long old slog, but she got through it. And you, if you follow it, you got a long slog coming as well. But uh, trust me, it's it's a worthy cause. But uh, a lot of hard work went into that. Not just for her, but for the whole team. It's been a long year, but anyway, that's that. So now we head back down to the front of the uh, the front lifeboats, just underneath the overhang here. We put another block just to the side of the ha uh, of the davit. And then we go and add handrails around the front of the superstructure. You can see they've got the pillars there. The pillars sit back from the from the handrails. So just add the handrails across the side and then up the front. Or across the front up to the stairs like so. And that's that job done there. And I do the same the other side. So from the stairs we add our handrails all the way back to our davit just there and a block just there and that is the finishing touches to the RMS Ponte Prid and there we are that's the, uh, the little the little tugger done it's not a tug but she's sort of tiny as a tug you 
probably fit this inside the Queen Mary too. <laughs> Might try that actually. And there we go. So that's uh, the Ponty Prid all done. Get rid of that. There we are. So there we are. Ponty Prid is all done. And six parts. I was trying to get this done in five, but we did it in six because of the uh, time restraint. But we got there and she's done. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you do build this, then uh, uh, have a good, have, have fun doing it. Um, if you're going to be building it as part of a downloadable project or an interior or something like that. Well, actually, if you're doing an interior for it, then speak to me first because I may want to do some changes. Or, you know, some people do take liberties and do their own thing with it. So I'm going to try and keep people back on that one. But anyway, uh, yeah, we got it all done in six. But yeah, if you're doing a, an interior. Uh, if you're doing an interior speak to me but if you're doing a downloadable project or a video on youtube then don't forget to leave a link in the description to where you got it from because uh, that always helps me but uh, yeah it's all been fun so ponty print is all done there will be more ships coming i'm not sure which one yet but i will do a poll i'm going at yeah, the next poll i shall add one of the big three that i have uh, normandy oceanic three and the queen mary two i shall add just one of those to the to the poll because <laughs> i don't want to I don't want to have all three of them cluttering up my pole because I know I'm going to end up doing one of them. Uh, so I shall pick pick one big, uh, as Rachel Riley would be. It would be one from the top and any other five, basically, or any other four. Um, so yeah, I shall uh, pick a big one and a load of small ones as well, and we shall go from there. So that's Ponty Prid done. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, insult me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> And uh, also uh, check out Pipkin's uh, Discord group as well. I will put the links back in the video soon. But that is uh, for it for now. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return with another video soon. So um, bye for now.